Hey, hello guys, all right? Um, gonna try to do a quick video here. We just, me and the wife just took about an hour drive from Hilo to get to Puuanahulu. And I have a um, season here for archery is uh, March through the end of June generally. So it's, uh, it's June now, so it's kind of late season. Um, I've been hunted here all year. And I think I hunted one day last year here with with Fred Baum from uh, Colorado and shot a poli then, so it was pretty fun one but uh yeah i just haven't been bow hunting a whole lot lately but uh, nah just take a holo holo trip and uh for the folks that want to know uh if they want to come and hunt goats uh on the big island uh, public land big island goats this is one of the best places i think so march through uh end of june uh you go and get a tag from the division i i don't have a goat tag i can't remember if it was billy's only or just goat I think it's just either sex goat, but you can. I think you can get two tags, and then uh, a, a ram tag as well as the season. I, I only have a ram tag today, but uh, um, and basically, you know, this is the Mamalo Highway back here. And if you hunt anywhere of Makai of the road, Makai meaning toward the ocean or, or downhill for people that don't know, um, a lot of goats down there. Uh, you can go anywhere, and you can find goats. So if you're a bow hunter and you don't know where to go, but you want some opportunity, that's a pretty easy one to just go anywhere and even uh, Mauka toward the mountain uh, above the road um, there's goats up here too but there's uh, generally more down downside and uh, you basically just get your hunting license your tags and check in at the Puuanahulu game management area and uh, there's like a little mailbox in here there should be a sign in sheet so sign in it's not too complicated and let's get on with the hunt Well, in true uh, taking the wife fashion, um, we're driving up the road, and I just spooked the whole herd. Out, ran into the ran into the fountain grass here. Um, I explain a little later about all this grass and how this came to be, but um, yeah, just uh, true fashion with the wife. Just super lucky. Not even supposed to. I don't expect to see anything on this road, and there were about I don't know maybe eight or ten, and a couple young rams inside of there. So we're gonna continue on up though, and then up uh, a little higher. Well, get a couple goats off the road there, but water. <laughs> At least 600 yards out and taking off from the truck, so I guess pretty spooked out by late season already. Well, we made it in, guys, uh, where we want to go, and uh, we're gonna kind of walk in this tall ass fountain grass and, and um, see what we can see. You know, maybe we'll get lucky. I really, I don't expect to see anything uh, late season like this and stuff. You know, being toward the end of the season, but um, I don't know at this. At this point in my life, I guess I've been kind of valuing more just not hunting crowded places or not seeing as much other hunters, just kind of quiet and stuff. So it's okay if I don't see anything, but uh, you know, with less animals, there's probably uh, less hunters. Uh, might sound counterintuitive, but since places in Hawaii are pretty accessible, all the public places, um, generally all the places with a lot of game, you'll see a lot of hunters. Um, you know, Pohakalo and some of the other areas uh, that are currently like that today. It wasn't always like that, but like that today. And um, and places like this where it's, you know, not as much sheep running around, harder to find them. And of course, late season. I'm sure early in the season it was pretty crowded here, but uh, now it's pretty empty, pretty peaceful, pretty quiet. Hopefully it uh, doesn't rain on us this evening. <laughs> Summer tends to sometimes be a rainy time for Kona in the afternoons, so... Um, see how it goes but I, I did mention I would mention you know how all this fountain grass came to be it's not a native grass 
I believe it was brought in as a as an ornamental at uh, Pu'awa actually, and it spread over the whole west side of the island. And as um, it's very fire prone, and as fires have come through and literally burned this whole place. And um, when I was a kid, this place was burned to the ground. I mean, twenty thousand plus. I don't know how many acres on that one big fire. That was back in like two. 99 2000 2000 or somewhere around there and uh, yeah it was um quite the fire and you know there's been several of those over the years and, and now it's really converted it to what you see today um there's of course some endangered plants that somehow remain in all of this and you know part of the reason why we can't get a whole bunch of animals in here is because of those few endangered plants that you know realistically will never likely never take hold or um, be sustainably um, kept as long as this grass is here that there's really no solution except probably grazing it but uh anyway that's that's just the situation so me and the wife are gonna walk in and see what we see stay tuned i spotted a couple a couple rams out there in the, in the thick fountain grass kind of way out so Somewhere's hiding. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep walking in and see what we can see. That's way too far for me to <laughs> try to even get video of or check out. So, I don't know. Never know. Just gotta be out here to get lucky, lucky right? Take a break here and uh, in true Big Island fashion as we're sitting here I hear uh, three gunshots uh, coming from about the direction of the highway so yeah probably a few folks uh, outlawing off the highway or something but uh, I think that's kind of the thing like if you don't if you don't live here and you just kind of see what the popular hunting shows or maybe what you see on YouTube or something is uh, of hunting I don't think it discloses all of like what the local hunting scene is like here you know and the honest truth is is our department our state it's i mean compared to other states and other game programs and hunting or even fishing programs across the country where we're kind of a joke <laughs> i mean to put it lightly so you know shooting off the highway not a hunting violation just trespassing poaching all that kind of stuff is pretty prevalent in hawaii and you know it just is what it is um i used to be pretty involved in like the political part of it of trying to get things better i was more working on getting game management done just because there's so much eradication and, um, no one's really working toward sustainable population management while keeping the public resource and the public interest in, in hunting no one's doing it it's just so difficult to get anything done that i kind of you know i don't do that no more but uh yeah <sighs> gunfire in the in the archer area just is what it is <laughs> oh gang the fog and drizzles are rolling in so <laughs> i don't know if i'll have much to show you guys in this video but uh looks like it's getting worse so we may we may just head out we'll see and I go hunting with the wife. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, gang, we're gonna go trail him up. Um, I think I'm standing where he was. He must have, might have been a little bit more to uh, to my left here, but it was about a 45 yard shot, what the rangefinder said. And I can see some blood on the grass over there, but uh, you know, I couldn't really see the kill zone, but I can see the top part of what I wanted to hit. So uh, just kind of aim for there, and then hopefully an arrow arced into the fountain grass. As you can see, it's very thick grass around here, but uh, I. I'm confident we'll find this one. <laughs> I can see the arrow and it looked pretty good. So let's go check it out. Okay gang, we're about a couple yards from where I think he was when I had made the shot. And we already got uh, got blood right here. Uh, I can show you guys real quick. Uh, check this out right here. Some decent blood. Um, it's on the grass right there. So looking good. Um, we'll trail this up. <laughs> And um, I did a video a while back with Npoa Kaloa um, trailing up a goat that some people really like, pretty popular one. But uh, maybe I'll go over that too here. Um, just kind of trail this one up the way I would trail it. Cause you can see this grass is pretty tall and it's easy to lose them, but it provides you also an opportunity to look at the path as long as you don't disturb the grass. So in this case, look at the blood and kind of stay on the side of it. And you can kind of see, I can see some more blood up there, but you can see where there's a crack in the grass where he laid the grass down. So even if you lose blood, you get a sense of, um, you know, where it went even in the tall grass. So let's proceed on. All right, gang, I'm only a few more steps ahead and I can see he's, uh, it's spraying pretty good. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of blood here and I'll, you can't really see it in this camera, but you can see that there's kind of a, oh, uh, where the grass is laid down right in this area where my hand is. So I'll try to zoom in on it and then what you don't want is you don't want to disturb that path. So let me show you guys here. Um, it's for the, kind of the newer bull hunters, I guess. You can see there's blood on the grass right there. So it's pretty bloody, right? And then going further down, uh, there's some more blood on the grass up there. Um, kind of see it in a darker spot. But um, if I zoom out, you see that there's like a an empty trail here leading through here so we'll stay on the side here and then we'll look at that trail and trail them up okay gang we've gone about another um we've gone about another 15 yards and there's a lot of blood on the grass right here and you can see i'm not disturbing it but there's kind of a, a low spot where the grass has been laid down kind of right through here um I'll try to show you guys up more close um, so there's the blood, right? And if you look good, it looks like there's like a, a crack, a low spot right here where the grass is laid down where he ran through. And you can see that there's blood on both sides of it on the way down. Now, um, if it was a situation, uh, if it happened to be a situation where you ran out of blood, right? Not a not as good a hit, but you still had the pathway. As long as you don't disturb it, you can use this tall grass, and you know you can see it be really easy. I mean, this is. Uh, waist high it'd be really easy for a small sheep to disappear in here and you never find them but uh, I can smell him <laughs> up here so I think he's I think he's down yeah well I'm using my cell phone now because I gotta kind of hurry up you can see the 
sun setting, it's getting late. I told the Stephanie to walk back up to one of the adjacent roads so I can meet her there, but I, you know, she's not really a, a woodsman, so I kind of concerned I gotta go hurry up and go find her. But uh, um, yeah, I had to shoot that ram again. Bumped him in the super tall grass and he took off running. I mean, just crazy. And then I uh, followed the trail again and I'm literally right above my truck. So I kind of chased him to the truck. But uh, put another shot in him just now at 20 yards. So um, I think he fell over over here. So let's go check it out. <sighs> man, you can you can never tell, man. These things are they're so tough. <laughs> I did not expect that. I thought he was down. And when I came up on him, I could hear him. Um, I could hear his lungs uh, ble bleeding out. So um, his lungs ain't holding air, but somehow he survived that hit. So I don't know. All right, got up on him here. Oh my goodness. The first shot looked good. I don't know why. Uh, what happened there? So, here he is. See my squirting away. So I took that shot here, but yeah, first shot pretty much a little bit back from the lung, but it caught the lung. I could hear his lung. Um, it uh, up there. I could hear his lung exhaling. Hear the air coming out. But so, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty cool one for just not expecting to see anything really. Um, here he is. It's a cool ram. <laughs> wow. Okay, I gotta go find Stephanie. Well, it's a little dark gang, but there it is, and uh, I was filming my cell phone a little early, but I was curious, you know, how come he ran so far? I thought I might have a good shot, so, um, as you can see, there's an entrance wound, so, maybe it's a two inches back from where I want to be, but it was right on, and I guess, you know, I guess on the shot, he was slightly, um, quartering too, so the exit is about mid-body on the other side, so the back part of the lungs, and, uh, yeah, just never can tell. You gotta be cautious on the track. Oh, wow, but we've got him cleaned up. We're only a couple hundred yards from the truck, so be a real easy one. Hey, aloha guys. Thanks for watching the video. Um, as you can see by the video, it was pretty late uh, by the time we were ready to clean up the sh clean up that ram and uh, head out. So um, didn't really film much there. So. Um, just kind of doing the outro here, so to speak. Um, anyway, yeah, I appreciate all the all the views, all the comments, all the feedback so far. And um, you know, I don't go out a whole lot hunting anymore. It's just uh, you know, I got other things to do. And um, I don't know. I I guess at this point of my life, uh, maybe I take it for granted. Maybe that's my fault. And someday uh, when I get old and I fall apart, I'm gonna wish I had done it more. But uh, nonetheless, uh, either way, uh, I do want to continue to make some decent content that are hopefully uh, entertaining or maybe even educational. So, you know, if there's things that you guys might want to see or want to know about that I may be able to help with as far as hunting in Hawaii or maybe even, um, well, not even the hunting stuff. I probably shoot better than I hunt, to be honest. So uh, even those things that if I can help out, uh, I definitely like to help out with that. So anyway, thanks again for watching the video. Got any comments, leave them in the comment section and catch you guys on the next one. Aloha. Bye-bye.